Tropical paradise, here we come. We are making cocota or ceviche from Fiji today. Keep on watching and I'm gonna show you how to make this fun dish at home. Welcome to The Foreign Fork, everyone. My name is Alexandria, and this is The Foreign Fork, where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we're making a really fun dish. It's called Kokoda, and it is a fish ceviche recipe from Fiji. And this recipe is made with cooking some fish and lime juice, but then we're also gonna add some coconut milk in there to balance out the acidity, put some vegetables, it is delicious. We're just gonna start with some mahi-mahi. I have about 12 ounces of mahi-mahi fish here. Make sure that you are buying um, sushi grade fish or fish that is okay for ceviche. What you're gonna do is take your mahi-mahi and cut it into bite-sized pieces. So for those of you that might not know, ceviche is actually a method of cooking fish without using heat. So instead of using um, the oven or cooking the fish on the stove, instead we're going to be using lime juice to cook the fish. So by soaking the fish in lime juice for about six hours or so, that acidity from the lime juice is going to soak into from the outside into the inside of the fish, and we're going to end up with perfectly cooked fish. So in order to cook our mahi-mahi, we're going to put it here into a bowl, and then we're going to need to get about three quarters of a cup of lime juice. Depending on how juicy your limes are, it's going to affect how many limes you need to get three quarters of a cup of juice, but for me, it normally takes between like five to eight limes. So I normally just go to the grocery store and buy one of those big net bags of limes, and that way I know I have enough to make this recipe. We are going to put a lid on this and then store it in the fridge for about six hours until all of the fish looks, instead of translucent like this, it's gonna turn white. All right, so after about six hours, your mahi-mahi is going to look like this. It's going to be all white on the outside, and even if you open it up, it's going to be cooked through in the middle too. Once it reaches that point, you can pull it out of the fridge and then put it into a mixing bowl, and we are going to continue assembling our cocota from here. If you love the flavor of lime, you can leave all of the lime juice in here. For me, I don't love the flavor of lime juice when there's too much of it, so I'm actually going to dump out maybe half of this and then leave the other half in. Next, we're gonna need to chop up our vegetables to add to our ceviche. So first things first, I have a half of an English cucumber, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these into little cubes. Next, we need about one third cup of red onion. I'm going to cut this and cut up some small diced red onion. Next, I have a green pepper. You can add up to the whole green pepper, but if you prefer um, a little bit less, you can also do half. Next, you're gonna need two Roma tomatoes, and I always recommend cutting these with a serrated knife because it's a lot easier that way. We're gonna need about a third cup of chopped parsley. And then lastly, one jalapeno diced up into small pieces. If you don't want it to be spicy, you can also leave the seeds out of the bowl if you prefer. Once all of your vegetables are added into the bowl, then you can also add your coconut milk. We're gonna have about three quarters of a cup of full fat coconut milk. Now this recipe, historically, Kokoda was made with Spanish mackerel, lime juice, and seawater instead of coconut milk, but times have changed. Now we're gonna add a couple more vegetables and instead of seawater, we're gonna use coconut milk. Depending on how much lime juice you remove from your bowl, you might need to add a little bit more coconut milk, so I'm going to add just another little drizzle into my bowl and mix it up just to give it a little bit more liquid in there. Now the next step is a super fun step. You can either serve your crocoda or your ceviche in a bowl, um, just plain and that's totally fine. But another thing that you could do is serve it the more fun and traditional way, which is in a coconut shell. I bought a coconut from Kroger. It was an easy crack one, so it already had um, like the lines around the outside that we could use to just hammer really quickly and it would break open. And we are going to use this as our bowl for our ceviche. Just one thing that we're gonna add in to make it look really pretty is some leaves from a head of butter lettuce. It is going to have a really pretty ruffle and color on it. And then once that's in the coconut shell, we're gonna scoop our ceviche into the center. Don't you feel like you're on the beach already? If it's cold outside and you're having a deep desire for the warmth, this is a good way to close your eyes and pretend. And if it's warm outside, you can still go outside, eat one of these ceviche bowls, and pretend that you are in tropical paradise. And that is how you make ceviche or cocota at home. If you want the full written recipe, you can find it at the description below this video. And if you liked this video, if you thought it was fun, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what other recipes from around the world you want me to try. Don't forget to check out all of the other recipes that I have on this channel from around the world and put some culture in your kitchen this week.